A sign to the people. A sign to the people, is Jesus the Son of God? In the previous article after we discussed the question of whether Jesus is God, we ended with another question to be answered in this article, which is, is Jesus the Son of God? Now, let's start together our journey and try to answer this question. No doubt that everyone agrees that God must have unique attributes that are relevant only to Him and no one shares them with Him, otherwise He is not God. If we agree that God must be so unique and self-sufficient, this means that He does not need anyone or anything. He does not need to have a partner, a wife, or a son. And this is exactly what Muslims believe in. God does not need to have a son, and, accordingly, indeed He does not have a son. Jesus is a Son of God in the Bible. So, what does Son of God mean? Yes. In the Bible, Jesus is a Son of God, but He is not the only Son of God. Indeed, He is one of many other sons of God in the Bible. So, what does this mean? As for the title that Jesus, peace be upon Him, was given in the Bible Son of God, firstly, let's say that it is not only Him who was given this title. Others were also called sons children of God. This is because, according to the biblical language, the word or the expression Son of God means the good man, the righteous person, or the servant of God. Or we can say that it means the believer, one who believes in the one true God, Almighty Allah, and believes in His name. Yet to all who did receive Him, to those who believed in His name, He gave the right to become children of God. John 1 verse 12 So, this title was given to those who were titled so, including Jesus, out of honoring them. This is exactly as if there is a teacher who is saying about his student he is my son, or he is like my son. Definitely he does not mean that his student is really and literally his real son or his biological son, of course not. He is just saying this out of honoring his good student. And this is exactly the same meaning. What does the word son specifically refer to? Also, to understand the meaning of the word son well, let's read, John 8 verse 44. You belong to your father, the devil, and you want to carry out your father's desires. Of course they are not literally the real biological sons of the devil, but it's only a symbolic meaning that refers to following the bad desires. And in this context, exactly as they are the sons of devil, from this perspective, Jesus is also the son of God, from the same perspective. So, the word son means the good believer and follower who obeys and applies the will, whether the follower of the devil who obeys him, or the believer of God who obeys him and applies his will. From the Islamic perspective, the Islamic expression of this meaning is be pious preachers of the Lord, which means, be good followers and believers of your God who obey Him and apply His will. Not only Jesus. As mentioned, it's not only Jesus who is Son of God in the Bible, but also other prophets were called children of God. For example, in Luke 3 verse 38, it's said that Adam was a son of God, who was the son of Enos, who was the son of Seth, who was the son of Adam, who was the son of God. In Jeremiah 31 verse 9, it's said that Ephraim is a son of God. For I am a father to Israel, and Ephraim is my firstborn. According to the biblical language, firstborn means the close, the beloved, the preferable, or the pious. Dot. In Exodus 4 verse 22, it's said that Israel is a son of God, and thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord, Israel is my son, my firstborn. In Psalms 2 verse 7, it's said that David is a son of God. I will declare the decree, the Lord said unto me, Thou art my son. This day have I begotten thee. According to the biblical language, begotten here means chosen not. And in other versions, today I have become your father. So, in the Bible there are children of God other than Jesus, peace be upon him, he is a son of God like prophet Adam, prophet David, prophet Israel, or Jacob, and prophet Ephraim, peace be upon all of them. Not to mention that Jesus is only a human prophet just like them. Not even only prophets. Furthermore, even not only prophets who were given this title in the Bible, likewise anyone who is good enough was also given this honoring title and was called a son of God. This could be viewed in Romans 8 verse 14 For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the children of God. John 1 verse 12 But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Also the same story of Luke and Mark proves this meaning. Mark 15 verse 39 The army officer standing there in front of the cross saw what happened when Jesus died. The officer said, This man was really the Son of God. Luke 23 verse 47 When the centurion saw what had happened, he gave glory to God, saying, Surely this was a righteous man. Here, notice and compare the two expressions that were mentioned in the two texts, Son of God in the first and righteous man in the second. 
clearly they were used as synonyms. This shows that this is the only logical and acceptable meaning of the expression Son of God which is completely different from the shallow superficial meaning. The Jews say, Ezra is the Son of Allah, and the Christians say, the Messiah is the Son of Allah. That is their statement from their mouths. They imitate the saying of those who disbelieved, before them. May Allah destroy them, how are they deluded? Quran.com 930 The Jews and the Christians associate partners with Allah, the Jews do so by claiming that Uzair is the Son of Allah. And the Christians do so by claiming that the Messiah, Jesus, is the Son of Allah. What they say with their own mouths is simply made up without any proof from Allah. By saying such things, they are similar to the idolaters before them, who said that the angels were the daughters of Allah. Allah is far above such things, may Allah destroy them. How can they turn away from the clear truth to falsehood? At Taba, 30. And they say, the most merciful has taken, for himself, a son. You have done an atrocious thing. The heavens almost rupture therefrom and the earth splits open and the mountains collapse in devastation. That they attribute to the most merciful a son. And it is not appropriate for the most merciful that he should take a son. There is no one in the heavens and earth but that he comes to the most merciful as a servant. Quran.com 1988-93 The Jews, the Christians and some of the idolaters said, The merciful has taken a son. You who say this have indeed brought something monstrous. The heavens almost rupture because of this detested statement, the earth almost splits, and the mountains almost fall in ruins. All of this because they have attributed a son to the merciful. Allah is high above that by far. It is not befitting of the merciful to take a son as he is pure of that. There is no angel, human being or jinn in the heavens and earth but that he will come in submission to his Lord on the day of judgment. He has full knowledge of them and has numbered them exactly. Nothing of theirs is hidden from him. Each one of them will come to him on the day of judgment alone, without any helper or any wealth. Miriam 88-95 Say, He is Allah, who is, one. Allah, the eternal refuge. He neither begets nor is born. Nor is there to him any equivalent. Quran.com 112-1-4 Say, O Messenger, He is Allah who is alone in being a deity. There is no deity except Him. Say, He is Allah, who is, one. Alone, without another, indivisible with absolute and permanent unity and distinct from all else. The one and only true deity, unique in his essence, attributes and deeds. He is the master to whom belongs all sovereignty and perfect, beautiful qualities. The one to whom all creation turned to. Allah, the eternal refuge. He who is absolute, perfect, complete, essential, self-sufficient and sufficient to meet the needs of all creation. The one eternally and constantly required and sought, depended upon by all existence and to whom all matters will ultimately return. One who did not give birth to anyone, nor did anyone give birth to him. So he has no offspring may he be glorified nor any parent. He neither begets nor is born. Nor does he have any equal from his creation. Nor is there to him any equivalent. Quran, Iklas, 112-1-4 The Jews, the Christians and the idolaters, who worship others alongside Allah, said that Allah had taken a son. He is far above and beyond such a thing, because he has no need of his creation, and no one has a son unless he is needy, and to Allah belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth. All created beings are his servants, in submission to him, glory be to him. They are his servants and he deals with them as he wills. Al-Baqarah, 116 Yet the idolaters made the jinn partners with Allah in worship believing that the jinn can independently bring benefit and cause harm, whilst Allah alone had created them. So he is most worthy of being worshipped. And out of their ignorance they attributed sons to Allah as the Jews did with respect to Uzair, and the Christians with respect to Jesus and also daughters. Allah is free and above what the people of falsehood claim about him. He, may he be glorified, is the creator of the heavens and the earth without any precedent. How can he have a child when he has no wife? He created everything and knows everything. Nothing is hidden from. Alan Am 100-101 Say O Messenger, all praise is for Allah who deserves all types of praise and who is exalted from having a child or a partner, thus he has no partner in his kingdom. And he is not afflicted by disgrace or weakness, hence he has no need for anyone to help and support him. So exalt him abundantly, and do not attribute any child or partner to him nor any helper or supporter. Al-Isra 111 
Allah has not taken a child as the disbelievers claim, nor is there any true deity alongside him. If there were to be any true deity alongside him, every deity would take his share of the creation he made and they would dominate one another, causing the order of the universe to become corrupt. The reality is that none of this has occurred, proving that the true deity is Allah alone. He is pure and holy of what the idolaters describe him with, namely partners and children which are unbefitting for him. al in 91 And the idolaters made blood ties between Allah and the angels when they claim the angels are Allah's daughters and their mothers are the elite jinns. But the jinns already know Allah will bring them to be reckoned, so if there was lineage between him and them he would not bring them for that. Pure is Allah and exalted from what the idolaters describe him with of that which does not befit him, such as children, partners. As Safit 158-159 O Messenger! Say to those who attribute daughters to Allah, who is exalted greatly from their statement, if, hypothetically, Allah had a child, then I would be the first to worship that child. The Lord of the heavens, the earth, and the throne is pure of the statements of attributing partners, wives and children of these idolaters. So O Messenger! Leave them to continue in whatever falsehood they are engrossed in, and let them enjoy until they meet the day which they have been promised. They will soon know the outcome of their actions and regret it. Az Zukruf 81-83 We have believed that he exalted be the grandeur and majesty of our Lord has not taken any wife nor child as the idolaters say. Algin 3 Some of the idolaters said, Allah has taken the angels as daughters. Allah is free of their statement. He, may he be glorified, is self-sufficient and is not in need of any of his creation. The control of whatever is in the heavens and the earth is his. You, O oh idolaters, do not have any proof for this statement of yours. Are you saying such a serious statement about Allah by attributing a child to him even though you do not know the reality of this and you have no proof? Eunice 68 Then, we can conclude by saying that Jesus, peace be upon him, is a great human prophet and one of the best five messengers of God, but he is neither God nor the Son of God. Accordingly, was Jesus crucified and died for our sins? This is what we will discuss together in the coming article of our series. Stay with us. Sources